Okay, hey. So I got the next dream I'm going to tell you guys about. It is a um, a meteor dream. Now this one, I say this one so many times. Like uh, when I say that I have repeated this dream over and over again, I have repeated this dream over and over again. I just don't want to do it again. But because I'm being led to do it, I will go through it. Or God, I will do it. I will do it. So this is what happened. I was at my college. Uh, just relaxing no problem and then um, after that I had stepped out on a balcony and I was on this balcony I looked I was just looking at the sky everything was like just really pretty and somebody came up behind me was like um, do you hear that and I was like hear what and they were like it sounds like a meteor and I was like, sounds like a meteor. I was like, what kind of comet? <laughs> so I looked at the sky. Lo and behold, it's a big ball of light headed towards us. And this light split into three. And the first thing I heard in my mind was the fiery judgment of God. I had fear <laughs> for a second. For one second, I had fear all I heard was the fiery judgment of God and then all three before like th like they just kept getting closer and closer and I was like God please forgive us of our sins I was like um, I pray for these people already people were running from uh, from the meteors and they were like running into the building behind me I continued to pray and I continued to thank God and I asked him to have mercy on us and then that's when the meteors slammed one two me into the ground and they split the cement and it was just like molten lava started to come up I was done I was like oh god and so that's when I started trying to cover the people I was like calm down calm down I was like God is with us we are protected you know don't worry all of this and I'm trying I was like um I was like don't run and and that's when I opened the door to the building and tried to get to more people. And then I saw my little brother there and I pulled him out of the crowd. And I was like, Nehemiah, come, in, come near me. Yeah, my brother's name is Nehemiah. And I pulled him close to me and I started, I prayed over him. And um, I anointed his head. And, he, and then after I did that, he went back into the building and he brought a man out. And he was, and the man said, I know it's not nighttime. But can you pray for me? And in my mind, I'm like, okay, um, you know, you can pray to God at any time of the day, night or day or evening. So that led me to believe that the man was Muslim. I don't know. So um, uh, I immediately started, I prayed for the man. And as I'm praying for him, my camera does what it wants. Um, as I was praying with him, I looked into the building and I saw two females. Um, they had changing faces, but I knew that they were women that I had problems with in the past and that I was not comfortable with being around me. And so they charged at me and I called on, on Jesus in the middle, uh, trying to focus, uh, try, I called on Jesus and they stopped walking. Well, they stopped coming at me because they wanted to attack me as I was praying for this man. So I finished praying for him and after I was done with the man, then the women attacked me and we got into a fight. Now, um, I'm a brawler at heart and, um, God has taken that anger out of me, thank God, and he has guided me throughout my life and all of the th situations I've been through or whatever, he's always been there for me. And so um, when these women came at me, like the old man, you know, the the old man, new creature in Christ, the old man came out and I was fighting this girl, these girls, and um, they were smiling. It was like this evil smile that they had on their faces, and I... And I got checked by the Holy Spirit and I knew that this was the enemy trying to get me to fall or to sin. And immediately I repented and I asked God to forgive me of my sins. And so, um, and I, and I ran. And when I ran, the women, they chased after me and we were in this dark room. And I told God, I was like, God, I don't want to be here anymore. I don't want to be in this dark place. I was like, make a way for me to come out and you know guide me whatever and so once that happened a door opened um a bright white door and i came to it and i ended right back up on the balcony when i was opening the balcony i looked back in the sky and i saw i kid you not i saw hundreds upon thousands of these freaking lights in the sky and I knew that when they hit our, like, when they came closer, they were just going to split into threes, and they were going to make three times as many as those lights, and I was just like, I was like, no way, I was like, this is crazy, and so the people started coming out of the building, I was like, what are you doing, 
I said, don't come out the building. And then that's when, um, when they were coming out the building, um, I was like, you know what? I was like, stay in the ark of safety. I was like, we'll be protected. God is protecting us. Da, da, da. And the people were like, you know what? Psh, whatever. I'm going to stay out here. I'm going to do what I want to do. Um, no worries. All this other stuff. And I was just there. And one guy told me, he was like, I'd rather see heaven from out here than to die in that building. And so I was like, you're not going to die if you stay in the building. You'll be protected by God didn't work they didn't listen to me and then i was thinking to myself i was like god nobody wants to be saved so i sat down and the thing was like when they were coming out they came into like the stadium area so they sat down in the stadium and i was able i sat down with them and then i, I was looking and i seen these meteors and as they were coming each of the meteors had a specific name on them like that meteor was meant for that specific person and, like imagine like sally or johnny or shadiqua or um whatever just imagine a name over top of the meteor and they were heat seekers like they were finding these people like they found these people like hiding behind cars it just bam found them and people were just dying everywhere it was like i didn't want to see that i don't like seeing stuff like that so um, I looked up in the sky and I saw a meteor headed my way and when a meteor was headed my way I just I had this eerie peace this like complete peace about it so I didn't I wasn't worried about anything and I could feel the heat of the meteor on my face and so when I felt that heat that's when um, the meteor got closer and closer bigger and better bigger and bigger but as it got it split into two and went and hit the two people beside me like glory be to God right and it hit the two people beside me and that's when a man saw that the meteor split around me so he came and sat next to me me man man came and sat next to me and then I looked at him I was like hey you know God said and as I turned to tell him what God had told me to tell him a meteor comes and splits this man in half and when it splits him in half his skin starts to bubble from the immense heat that is coming off of this meteor and this man is trying and I heard this voice it was like get up so I got up and the man tried to reach for me he was bleeding out of his mouth I was like I can't do it and the media and the, uh, the voice told me to go so I started going up over the um over the um bleachers and I was like so where's my brother where's my brother I gotta find him I gotta protect him I gotta help him and then I ran into the building and I and the and the thing was the view of the building was almost like a, a movie theater where all the aisles and chairs and then it was like a big screen the big screen was showing what was happening outside where the people were being hit by the meteors and all that chaos so I was inside and I was looking for my brother and I found him laying down on these chairs and of the movies of the movie theater and he was sleeping sleeping and I knew that God did not want to catch us sleeping so I tried to wake him and he would not wake up but I refused to allow him to sleep I was like by the grace of God you will wake up and I was like I started calling out on Jesus I started like shaking him like I got to, I got to the point I was so frantic I wanted to punch him like I was about to punch my brother to get him to wake up I was like I, I would use every fiber of my being to wake you up and I, I don't care what else happens I just I will wake you up so, um, as I was raising my fist to him, <laughs> he opens his eyes and he looks at me and I just start to cry because I'm like, I'm just so happy that God allowed him to, you know, wake up and he's seeing the light and I knew he was seeing the truth. And so that's when I, um, I started hugging him and I told him how much God loves us and how much we're protected. And that's when a man, um. Uh, no, that's when the, the two girls that I fought in the beginning, one of them sat next to me and the other um, came over and she was talking, I guess they were sisters at the time now. And so they were looking at each other and one was like, I'm going to go out here and I'm going to save us. I'm going to get us some food. I'm going to get us this shelter all this, bump all these people. And the other girl was like, yeah, psh, do what you want to do. I ain't going out there. You can go out there, but I'm not going to go. So there was no love between them. And then that's when the girl went outside. That's when she stepped out that door, a meteor came, whoosh, came past. I don't know if she died, if she got hit or whatever. But I looked over at her sister and I had no strife with this woman. I had no feeling. It was indifference. I had indifference towards her. And then that's when I continued to hold my brother. Mind you, my brother's like six foot something. So I'm holding him just, you know, it's okay. We're good. You know, God loves us. And I woke up in a cold sweat. 
and I had to pray because I was like, God, thank you for sparing my life. Like, thank you for warning me and protecting me throughout that dream, all of that. And so, huh, so, and I had a feeling that this was going to happen really soon, like meteor, like that whole thing was going to happen really soon. So, 